hey guys welcome back to the channel so we finished the modeling for this fire escape kit in our last video and today we are going to unwrap the entire model so i'm going to start with the base let's go to your uv editor and uh, for this i'm going to use a simple automatic mapping this works just fine for this and i'm going to move and sew the parts in the middle like this and then unfold it and for the sides what i'm going to do is just move and sew you can unfold it one more time and we are done with the base you can also attach this one if you want so just select the sides of the edges and then move and sew and layout turn on the checkers to see if there is any stretching and uh, this looks good so i'm going to leave it as it is so this part is done let's move on to this part isolate it go to create automatic mapping and i'm going to repeat the same thing here move and sew and unfold merge the sides and the top and bottom unfold now select everything and unfold then layout check the stretching looks good now bring back your model and start unwrapping the other parts so for these stairs what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one and unwrap it and then transfer the uvs onto this part so let's select this isolate it Go to create automatic mapping and uh, select it move and sew unfold and just select the sides and move and sew keep unfolding if you see any stretching like this so we don't have the top or the bottom faces here so we just need to sew the sides So everything is done. Use Orient Shell to fix the rotation and the layout. Scale it up like this to see if there is any stretching. So checkers looks good. So I'm going to layout it. And bring back my model. Now we need to transfer the UVs of this part onto this duplicate. So I'm going to go to mesh and transfer attributes. Reset everything. And I'm going to go to attribute setting and change it to component. Select the unwrapped part and then the other part and click on this transfer. And it's going to transfer the UVs onto the other part. So as you can see that both of these are unwrapped now. And same thing we're going to do with the, all these things. So for this, isolate it. And uh, for this, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, the seam is on the top, but I don't want my seam to be on the top here. So I'm going to go to create camera based. Select this edge here and go to edge mode in the UV editor then cut. Select the shell then unfold and uh, we are done select this go to uv shell and orient layout and we're going to repeat the same thing here so select this and this go to mesh transfer attribute 
and apply and now these are unwrapped and uh, let's repeat the same thing here so i'm going to select this one step go to edit automatic mapping move and sue and let's merge these sides like this and layout and again as you can see that all these steps are exactly replicated of this one so you can just select these and go to mesh then transfer attribute and these are going to be unwrapped so you can either delete all these steps and uh, create duplicates again or you can just transfer the uvs choice is yours whatever is comfortable to you and i'm going to leave these as it is and finish transfer the uvs so this is to demonstrate to you how you can transfer the uvs between identical meshes so i'm done with these steps what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this part and uh, isolate it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to create camera based mapping go to edge mode and select the edges like this right click and select similar to select the edges down here go to edge mode and cut bring out the middle part and add one cut anywhere you want so i'll just add a cut here and then cut select this unfold and we are done with this unfold these ones orient shell select everything layout and this is unwrapped bring back your mesh select these two go to mesh transfer attribute and we are done now let's unwrap the bars of this letter select it and go to create automatic since we don't have the faces on the sides of these steps we don't need to do much here just select all the edges move and sew and unfold and that's it so you can again select all of these go to mesh transfer attribute and transfer the uvs between all these steps now since almost everything is unwrapped what i'm going to do is i'm going to go with this one so for this one go to create and camera based mapping go to edge mode select these edges go here and cut now we need to add a seam here so again select this part deselect the face here like this and again cut now select everything and unfold and we are good to go so just select everything unfold and layout orient shell like this and this is unwrapped and as for these things uh, these all are identical so again i'm going to unwrap only one of them and then transfer the uvs between all these bars of the railings so just check it once so we don't have faces on the top or the bottom so for this we can also go to create and create automatic and then move and see these edges and unfold make sure to turn on checkers to see if there is any stretching here and if it looks fine then it is fine just leave it as it is and our work here is almost done so you know the drill you can just select the identical meshes go to mesh transfer attribute 
change the attribute settings to component and just transfer and that's how you can transfer the uvs this will save you a lot of time or you can also delete the duplicated uh, meshes and then uh, unwrap one of them and duplicate again so i hope you understand the workflow so i'm going to finish the transfers of uv of this video and in the end i'm going to show you how all this looks like when it's completely unwrapped so i'll be back in a second so the entire model is unwrapped i have transferred all the uvs and that's how it looks in the end so now i'm going to export this as obj or fpx and prepare it for texturing in substance painter so you can also tweak the uvs and create udims if you want to use multiple uv islands for the texturing but for now i think i'll leave it here so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching